A four-year-old boy, one of two people shot and killed last evening in two separate incidents, the third shooting here in the capital in less than 12 hours. The police commissioner and his top brass calling an emergency press briefing this morning to update the public on the status of those investigations, but so far have found that gang retaliations appear to be at the heart of a number of these incidents. Jiminita Swain tells us more. We have to take the fight to the criminals and we will do just that to disrupt what is going on within our community. Commissioner of Police Clayton Fernander vowing to take a strong stance against gang violence where retaliatory acts are leading to more killings. Sadly, the most recent involving a toddler. Shortly before 10 p.m. last night, the four-year-old young boy was along with his parents, both parents. Uh, they were traveling west on Fleming Street. Uh, while in that area, a young man was being chased by two others who was armed with handguns. Shots were being fired. Uh, one of the bullets uh, went through the front windshield of uh, that vehicle, uh, hitting the young man, the young child, sorry, uh, to the body. Unfortunately, the child died in hospital. Fernando says the 27-year-old intended victim is assisting police with their investigation in hopes of bringing closure of this case as soon as possible. We have officers who will be on the ground going door to door. Uh, we are looking for footage. Uh, we have traced the area where the culprits uh, came from and where they was chasing the individuals. So hopefully that we will be able to collect some evidence to connect the dots and cross the T's with that uh, investigation. Fleming Street, just one of a series of shootings Tuesday. Another took place on Dennis Court, Yellow Elder, around 8.30. Two young men was involved in an altercation. Uh, as a result of that, both of them who were armed uh, fired shots at each other and shot uh, individually they shot themselves uh, not themselves but shot each other and uh, they were later taken to hospital in two separate vehicles uh, where they are listed in serious condition. At last report detectives were working to recover those weapons not found at the scene. Earlier that same day officers scrambled to another shooting this one on West Street near an abandoned gas station. That's where a man reportedly got a call that led him to walk in a northern direction before being attacked by two men. A white small vehicle pulled from a yard just in that area uh, pulled from a yard, uh, two men uh, was in that vehicle and they fired shots at uh, that individual where he was shot multiple times about the body. Uh, the vehicle sped off. Uh, he was later rushed to hospital in a private vehicle uh, where he later died. As authorities continue to point out, the majority of people killed this year were on bail for serious offenses. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Jimenita Swain.